Okay guys, today another little quick guide to the Quest Warrior deck right now in Hearthstone. I made another guide just, I think, three days ago, but I wanted to make some things a little bit more clear. I wanted to improve the guide a little bit. Uh, maybe I just re-upload it, I don't know. Uh, but def definitely I want to make some improvements and I also want to let you know that I finally hit a legend with this deck that I present you right now. So <clears throat> let us go a little bit into the yeah, introduction. You see me playing against a uh, rogue, <laughs> you know nowadays <laughs> nearly every game is about rogue. Uh, I think with this deck I will show you later on I made like 40 games or 50 games and 30, 33% where against Rogue, you will see it later on in my statistic of the deck dragger. Uh, it's not a bad matchup, but also not a really good matchup uh, for Quest Warrior. I think as higher you go in the rankings, as as worse it will get for the Quest Warrior. Because to be honest, I think one of the weaknesses uh, from Quest Warrior is it's very predictable. Everybody knows it. Everybody plays a lot against Quest Warrior. So there are not a lot of uh, surprises that a Quest Warrior have uh, for very good players left. So it's very predictable in the higher rankings. But I think it's still a very, very good deck, deck to, got into the, to get into the Diamond, to get even into Legend. As I said, I made it into Legend just uh, yesterday. So uh, yeah... A little bit about the strength and the weaknesses. I think the weakness, I already told you a little bit about it. It's very predictable. Uh, and the, the, the strength about the strength about uh, the Quest Warrior deck is still it's it's strong in every phase of the game. It has a decent early game, decent mid game, decent late game. Maybe even, maybe the the, the the time between the, the mid and the late game, so the mid-late game is the best. It's At the end, it's about when you play Rokara. I mean, okay, when you play Rokara and, and, the, next, and the next turn the, the enemy finishing you, okay, then you, are, then you are done. There's nothing you can do. But if you have Rokara on the, on the field and there's nothing, there's nothing that directly the enemy can answer to this, in a very hard way then you have a very high chance to win the game at the end it's like nearly every quest deck make the quest as fast as possible and you have a decent or high chance to win the game that's what i can say about quest warrior so another strength in my opinion is for newcomers or for people that come back to hearthstone it's very easy to play yeah, for sure, it's hard to master, so at the end it's always about like other, uh, let me say like other acro decks or other easy to play decks. It's a little bit about when do you go face, when do you go, when do you attack the minions of the, of the enemy, of the opponent. So that's, uh, that's the hard decisions that you have to do, but um, definitely, definitely, for example, Thief Rogue, Poison Rogue, uh, there are a lot of decks that are definitely more hard to play they have more upside so at the end the quest warrior has a downside when it gets in the higher level as i said it's predictable but to reach diamond to reach uh, legend i think it's a very good deck so now let us talk a little bit about the, the mulligan on the mulligan it's important usually that you know a little bit about against what you what you what is your opening playing and you know that's hard these days because of the rogue mechanic, the masquerade. Um, so mostly I show you quick. Uh, here's the, you know, have some replay. Here's exactly the deck that I'm playing right now. It's with the three mana to destroy the enemy weapon. The enemy weapon is destroyed enemy weapon is very good against poison rogue and things like this. So about the mulligan. For sure, always keep your quest, and you always will play your quest on the first uh, on the first uh, turn. Maybe, as I told already, when the enemy is playing the truck, you all know the one-two truck that is duplicating when the enemy is playing a, a, a spell. So 
maybe that could be a reason why you're not playing it on the first turn maybe but that's the only one as far as i know so the other one is the harper scamp 2-2 two, two, draw a pirate very good battle cry it gives you good tempo it's a decent card two mana 2-2 two, two. Uh, it's also nice that usually mages cannot destroy it on the first turn or whatever and for sure the blood sail deccan blood sail deccan 2-1 for one mana and the battle cry the next weapon you play costs one less usually you draw the weapon from the quest the weapon is only one mana so usually the the weapon costs zero mana so it's like a free a free weapon at this turn later on in the game this card has no no benefits it's just one mana to one because the juggernaut is always giving you the weapon for free other good cards in the starting hand are this because it's a little bit hard to remove for some enemies uh, the Foxy Free Buddha, I don't like it that much on my starting hand, but it's also not that bad. This is a very strong card to change the tempo of the game for your side. It's especially strong in the in the mirror match when you have when you are not starting, when the enemy warrior is starting, and you could you can play this card in the second turn. It's a very very strong card then. And yeah, then you know it's con going on. You know, never you want these big cards uh at the start of the game but for sure you need them to finish the game a little bit uh as i said about the matchups you know is there are there's no matchup not winnable for quest warrior but i think the meta by himself by itself is very variety at the moment what about the win rates but as high as it get in legend as more rogues you will find there's nearly only rogue played in the top i don't know top 500 top 200 is nearly only rogue so what we're talking about today is diamond and the low legend and in, the, in this area the, the deck is very good you can play it nearly against every opponent i will show you a little bit my win rates for sure it's only 40 40 games especially with this uh, with this deck now so it's not like you can keep this win rate is 67 percent you cannot keep this win rate like forever that's not possible um you see a lot of rogue every other class is nearly it's very good balanced halfstone right now besides rogue in my opinion i don't know what they will change uh, with on the rogue deck but definitely they will do some changes because it's uh it's just too much played that's it um i have a very good win rate against rogue i think that's a little bit about the mulligan that i do when i have the feeling i play against the rogue and when you see it's a poison rogue then the poison rogue is the only rogue that you see and the other thing is like okay you see every third game is against the rogue so yeah you have to think about that the enemy is a rogue. What is a very good card against the rogue at the first few turns? Definitely, it's the man, the cannons. That's a very good card because um, maybe you can clear his complete board when he attacked uh, with his null already. Or also the... For one mana... Where is it? The shiver. Because, yeah, if you have a pirate, you, you, pl you play a pirate and you can instantly remove uh, hi one of his nulls. So you play just a 2-1 pirate, for example, and with another mana you remove the 4-1. So the 4-5 null, sorry. Uh, so a very good card against Rogue, in my opinion. So these days, if I have a draw, if I have a mulligan with, for sure, my quest, like always, one of this and one of this this or the man the cannons i keep them because as i said it's maybe you can have a better start against other classes but you play a lot against rogue and i think you need one of these cards in the first two or three rounds against the rogue if not you cannot win that's that's the advice that i can give you and you see against all other decks it's decent or you have a high win rate very high win rate against priest i think it was not a lot of games very high win rate against warlock i don't know how many games it was at the end as i said it's just 40 games 28 wins 14 losses 42 games so yeah yeah but it's a very good win rate overall against most decks the hard matchups are as you can see 
Shaman, Super Acro Hunters, I think Libra Impala, also hard matchup, and yeah, the Thief Rogue matchup is hard. This win rate is not uh, is not usual. I think usually you should have around 45% win rate against Rogue, but even when I have here 45 instead of 71, I think the win rate would be good. The win rate would be like 60 58% win rate still, uh, even when I lost, lost more to Rogue. But as I said, you can work with the mulligan against the Rogue. Not always, but it helps. And as I also said about uh, a little bit about the deck himself that I play, it's you have the you have the removing from the weapon. That's very good against the Poison Rogue. Quest Warrior is not bad against Poison Rogue, so it's usually not that big problem it's like 50 50 or whatever but uh, this card is definitely helping a lot it's also helping against the Libra Impala maybe I won one or two games because I could play it against the Pala here and it's also good on the mirror matchup against warriors and you see a lot of warriors on the on your climb so yeah West Warrior is still a very good deck try it out I will put my deck list uh, into the description if you have any questions in the commentaries, I will also link my Reddit account, so you can also see them. I, I link my Twitch for some streams if you are interested in. So good luck on the climb to Legend. You definitely can do it with this deck. It's doable. It took me like, uh, yeah, I think it took me like three days into from Diamond Five to Legend. Definitely you can make it more fast, but I wanted to stick around with the Quest Warrior because, as I told already, I started kind of new in December. I made it to Diamond 10 or 9, and then I said to myself, okay, I want to stick with this deck to learn it better, to learn the game, to learn my opponents. Now I will try also other decks, but yeah, that's that's what I wanted to say about the, the deck right now. Good luck in the queue and in the, on the ladder, and we see us. Bye-bye, guys.